hello friends in this video we are going to learn about burp sweet intruder attack types so in the previous in the previous video you have learned the how to use repeater tab comparer tab and extender tab and in this video we will learn how to use the intruder tab for different attack types for conducting different attack types so this is a multi led website and uh, i'm using foxy proxy firefox extension so let me turn on the interceptor so if we click on this login button you can see this is the request that uh, above suite has intercepted so i will right click on this request and send it to intruder tab so as you can see the intruder tab has turned orange in color so let me forward this request and turn off the interceptor so if we go into this intruder tab So these are the different attack types. First one is sniper. Next one is battering ram. Another is pitchfork and the last one is cluster bomb. So something is missing. I think I forgot to enter the username and password. So sorry my mistake. uh let's enter username admin and password pass and interceptor is on press enter and now we have intercepted our request again in the box it interceptor so right click and send it to intruder tab and turn the interceptor off so as i showed you that uh, there are four attack types we can use in this intruder tab so let's first use this sniper attack so let me clear the positions so we want to attack the username and password field for this we will use we will first highlight the value of the first position we want to attack and click on add dollar and the next position we will select the next position and click on add i think it is dollar or something it is a, a payload marker click on a add payload marker so we have we have selected the attack positions now we need to go to this uh, payload section so for a sniper attack the payload set is always one so and uh, the payload type is let's select any one of these given uh, options so i will use brute forcer to make you understand how the sniper attack works so i will take two characters a and b and the maximum and minimum length will be four characters and click on start attack as you can see
there are 16 combinations of a and b and uh, the request count is 32 so why is this so let me show you first so as you can see there are 16 combinations of a and b and uh, what sniper does is actually it to tries the it takes these positions one by one first of all that uh, all the combinations of a and b will be tried on this first position and so since there are 16 combinations so this uh, username field will get 16 uh, combinations of uh, a and b username as value so and uh, you can check it here and the password value will remain the constant and the password value will be default value so first of all first of all the all the combinations of a and b will be tried on this username field and after that all the combinations of a and b will be tried on this password field and the username field will remain the default value so this is how sniper attack works now close the, let me close this window now let's uh, use the battering ram attack in this attack the same value of uh, the same value of a and uh, the same value will be applied to both these username and password field same payload value will be applied to these uh, both uh, username and password field so let's start attack and there will be only 16 requests as you can see so if you click on one request one you can check here that the same value is used in both the username and password field and if we check the request two the same value is used in for the username and password field so this is how battering ram attack works to get a better better understanding of how it works you can try it yourself at your uh, on your pc so let me close this window one thing i want to tell you is that both the both this sniper and battering ram attack the payload set value will be or will always be one so you have to keep this in mind so next attack i am going to show you is this cluster bomb attack for a cluster bomb attack payload value is always uh, greater than one so you can have multiple values for this uh, cluster bomb attack for example right now i have i have selected two payload positions that is why the payload set is showing two if i say if i select the three payload positions then it will show you payload values payload set to three so this is how 
cluster bomb attack works let me start the attack and show you uh payload set value 2 not been set as 2 not been defined let me check okay okay my mistake so on the first position i want to uh since the first position is username so i will select a dictionary attack simple list here like uh, what are the possible values of username admin uh, let's see writer mm, webmaster x y z or uh, somebody so we have selected the payload for the field username now for the password password field we need to i will use a brute forcer uh not i will use uh, numbers from 1 to 5 and in step 1 for the second position and for first one is our simple list and uh, for the third position let's just uh, remove the uh, clear the third position first now let's start attack as you can see there are payload values 5 both the uh, payloads at 1 and payload 2 there are uh, 5 values so 5 5 is a 25 so that is why uh, the buff suite will send uh, 25 requests and uh, each value of payload payload 2 will be tried against each value of payload 1 so this is the summary of uh, cluster bomb attack so as you can see first first combination is uh, admin and payload value is 1 then writer then webmaster then xyz then somebody then the when the value of payload 1 repeats itself the payload 2 value is moved to the next one so the each well each payload value of 2 is tried against the each payload value of 1 so you can see it here This is how cluster bomb attack works. Close this window, let me now uh, let's use the pitchfork attack. Pitchfork attack is the same as uh, cluster bomb attack except that the same value will be used for the same value of uh, payload will be used in in username field and password field so let's start attack so 
so since the payload 2 value is 5 therefore it will send only 5 requests and as you can see the in the first request the username value is admin and the and the payload 2 value is 1 and in the second request the username value is rider and the payload value is 2 so this is how pitch for attack works I hope you must have got uh, something to learn from this video if you liked the video don't forget to subscribe to this channel and comment below thanks for watching